<laughs> Hi, my name is Elena. I am volunteering to be on Cyborg's channel here for In For The Ride. She asked me to do my morning skincare routine for you guys, so it is pretty quick and straightforward, and this is my first time ever doing a video like this, so it's not gonna be as fancy as you normally see, but we'll give it a try. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I like to keep it really simple. I typically don't wash my face. I find that soap really dries out my skin, so if I need to, if I've got like eye goobers or whatever, all that fun stuff, you know, I will just rinse my face off. Today, I don't really need it. I don't have a lot of eye crusties. I'm not that disgusting yet. Um, so I'll actually just start with, I use a vitamin C serum. It is Tree of Life Vitamin C Serum. It's really inexpensive. I like it a lot because it is not as liquidy as a lot of other vitamin C serums I've used. It's a little bit thicker, so it actually feels more like a lotion when I put it on. Use just a small amount. It's a little dropper like this. Um, just use a small amount on my fingers, about a pea size, and then I spread that over my face. I start on my forehead, whip a little on my chin and my cheeks, and then the thing that I was always told by my grandma, who had amazing skin, even into her 70s, is to never help gravity. So always put your stuff on going up so you're working away from gravity. And that's it. The other thing besides doing your face is everything that you do for your face, you also should do for your neck. So I'm just doing the exact same thing, got it on my hands, going away from gravity, putting it on my neck. And then another thing that I add in that most of you probably won't have to is I actually have some scarring called a keloid, which is here on my chest. It's actually a scar that I have from chicken pox, but a lot of people get it if they are keloid prone. And I actually put the same vitamin C serum directly on my scarring as well. And I found that it has helped take down some of the pinkness of the scar, which has been really great because it's something I've dealt with my entire life. Um, keloids can be really sensitive, so just make sure that you're using something that doesn't trigger pain or any sort of reaction with that. Done with my skincare per se. Then to get ready, I don't ever wear makeup. It's something that I just don't prefer. It also tends to hurt my eyes, can make my skin break out, so I always try to stay clear. So all I do is I have two trusty tools, a toothbrush for my eyebrows and an eyelash curler. So it kind of sometimes looks like I'm wearing mascara if I can get a good curl in there. We'll see if I can today. For eyebrows, I'll just take, this is one of my old toothbrushes, so it's nice and squished down. See that? Oh yeah. Oh, it's all fuzzy, whatever. But I just comb my eyebrows into place. They stick from having the vitamin C serum on them. Yeah. Done. Done with those. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and then I will use the eyelash curler. As you can see, it's a little bit of a change, a little bit opens up my eyes, kind of makes it look like I'm wearing some makeup even when I'm not. And do the other eyelash. One of the things I've noticed though is my one eyelash is always curled better than the other one, so... Oh well, there! Now I'm all done! My morning routine is finished. I'll just... Usually I have curly hair. Take it down, see what I'm working with that morning. Uh, maybe I'll run a little water. Throw some of that in there to, to bring back some of the curl if it's looking kind of flat. Sometimes I'll use some gel. Depends on how long it's been since I last washed my hair, but... Now I'm good to go. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day.